Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into the show today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Okay, if you love mysteries, you have to check out the Mystery Fest sponsored by the Waterfront Playhouse Theater. The festival starts Friday, and during this time, you can check out the world premiere production of Home Exchange. This play was written by the co-executive producer and one of the original writers of the TV series Monk and White Collar. He's also my first guest today. Hi, Conrad. Hi, thank you so much for oh, being with me this my morning. My pleasure, Jenna. Okay, ready or not, your big, <laughs> your big week is here. Are yeah. you ready for oh, it? I think so. A lot of preparation has gone into it. We have terrific actors, a, a great set, and um, a, a terrific director. And then uh, we have all the other events of the Mystery Fest, and they've all fallen into place. And mm -hmm. we're selling tickets very nicely, and everyone's very excited. Oh, I know everyone's very excited. I've heard people talk about it. And they're specifically excited for Home Exchange. Can you tell us about this production? Well, um, I had always wanted to write a play kind of like a Death Trap that mm -hmm. had a lot of comedy, had a lot of suspense, some mystery in it. Um, and uh, I thought, why not? And we were doing a home exchange with people in France. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea of a home exchange is that there is a website called homeexchange.com, mm -hmm. and you list your house, and people in wherever you want to go, London or Paris or New York, uh, will also list their houses, and you contact them, agree upon a week or two when you want to exchange houses, and mm -hmm. you basically have uh, sort of a free hotel room, a free house, uh, for a week while someone else is in your house. And we did that in uh, France and had a wonderful time, but one day we had a, a citywide blackout and we were looking for rummaging through drawers to try to find candles and flashlights and that sort of thing. And the thought occurred to me, what if you were in someone's house during a home exchange and you found out that someone was up to a murder or there was something nefarious going on in that house and, and maybe it would leak over near your house 3,000 miles away and how would you deal with that? And uh, that was the uh, whole idea behind it. I know I deal with it by freaking out <laughs> majorly. <laughs> and I think so many other people would probably do that too. Was it fun writing Home Exchange? It was, it was. I mean, there were a lot of, uh, half of writing is solving problems. It's like mm -hmm. creating something that you think is good and then solving all the little problems. And um, uh, this uh, was terrific because we had a villain who was 3,000 miles away. Uh, and so how do you deal with that? How do you make that villain real? Um, and uh, then how do you make the characters real? What kind of character would think in this kind of dark way that they were, that they, they were up to something no good? What kind of people would do this? And pretty soon, pretty soon you develop characters and uh, um, uh, then you get great actors to uh, interpret the characters and to really make them come to life. Mm -hmm. And now this isn't your first play that you've written. You've done quite a few plays? Uh, I've done a couple. Um, I had a play off Broadway uh, uh, way back in the day. It was a musical. I did book music and lyrics and it ran for a little while off Broadway. Um, but th this is my first uh, play since then. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, I've done books and uh, TV and uh, that sort of thing. So you like getting back into this play though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. playwriting is, uh, plays are extremely difficult because the market is small and there are, there are a lot of people who want their plays produced. Um, so it's, it's a very challenging. You don't go in, into playwriting to make money. It's, it's, a, it's a labor of love. Mm -hmm. A good labor of love. <laughs> oh, yeah, we hope. Yeah. And now, along with checking out Home Exchange, you know, why should mystery lovers, and not even just mystery lovers, non-mystery lovers, why should they check out Mystery Fest? Um, mystery Fest is 10 days mm -hmm. of mystery-related events. We have the world premiere um, of Home Exchange, which will have searchlights and a red carpet and a very uh, fancy evening, which mm -hmm. is uh, May 5th, mm -hmm. uh, just this Saturday. And then there are lots of other events. There's Crime Scene Photographer, where uh, it's being held at the Casa Antigua, which mm -hmm. is a wonderful place where you sort of suspect there may be bodies buried in the basement of that house. <laughs> and um, uh, that's about a crime scene photographer who you all break into teams and you try to solve mysteries based on big crime scene photographs, uh, and that should be a great fun event. Mm -hmm. We have Monk Night, where the creator of Monk, Andy Breckman, is flying down from New York, and he's going to be here, and we're going to sit at the Tropic uh, Cinema and uh, watch some clips from Monk and discuss it. Uh, mm -hmm. um, there is a Clue Dinner, which is a progressive dinner held in three houses in the Truman Annex, mm -hmm. and people will be uh, going from house to house, and. Uh, uh, playing the game of Clue, sort of a live version of Clue as they mm -hmm. go. 
Wow. Well, great. Well, this sounds very suspenseful. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for filling us in on Home Exchange and, of course, filling us in on Mystery Fest. We'll keep everyone posted on the morning show as to what's going on. And you can check out waterfrontplayhouse.org for more information. So thank you, Hal. Thank you, Jenna. Okay. We'll be right back after this, everyone. Don't go away.